feel like this is so awkward because my neighbors are literally across the street and I'm in front of my big window and they can see in my room. But hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So um, I have not posted in about two or three months. I just want to quickly add really quick that I did end up making one of my posts public. I wasn't originally going to make it public. So technically, my last upload wasn't two or three months ago. But this was an update that I made for you guys before I made that video public. So I guess I'm just gonna hit you guys with like a little quick update about me or like where I've been and why I've been gone even though there's like really no explanation that I can give you guys that's like hey this is why I'm a slacker. So first I want to start off by saying the last time that I uploaded something I talked about me getting like my hair transformed. Um, I had gotten my hair a red color. That was the last update that I gave you guys myself um so since then my hair has definitely faded out it faded into like this blondish color um my bangs have grown out they used to be like up to like right here at least and they're like now to like right here so they're pretty grown out i cannot wait until they grown out i just don't i just don't think bangs are really for me because i don't keep up with them i also in this past two months um i've experienced a lot of stuff okay um, I have <laughs> colored my hair, gone through a heartbreak, um, I actually had to get stitches, I had to go to the hospital and get stitches because I stabbed myself, um, I started college, let's see, oh, and I lost my job, <laughs> yes, uh, a lot of stuff that can happen in two months, well, I'm gonna tell you guys about my stitches that I had to get in my hand. This is the scar for my stitches. I don't think you guys can really tell right here. So let me just start from from the beginning. We were uh, cooking for my brother, like making him a little uh, meal for his birthday. But I was in charge of cutting the avocados and cutting the lettuce and you know, making the, the salad. And um, I don't know what happened. Well, I do know what happened. Basically I cut it and it was like in half and I was gonna take the seat out and I was, I don't know why, tell me if I'm the only one, but I just get this like social anxiety, even if it's like my family. I just don't know how to explain it, but I hate asking other people for stuff and I didn't want to ask him for a fork. So I was like, you know what, let me just try to take it out with a knife. So I stabbed it once and it wouldn't come out. So then I was stabbing it like this. I had the avocado in my hand and I was stabbing it like this. And then he, my brother called me to, to to show me something. He's like, I made to come look at this. And I was like, I was about to put it down um, so that I could go look at what he was telling me, but I didn't put it down. So what happened was I had kind of like looked away for like a second and I was putting it in and then boom, it like went all the way through the seed and it stabbed me right here. I ended up actually hitting the, the bone and I cut in between these two major nerves that are in between your fingers right here. Um, so yeah, I got really lucky. I also missed the tendon or whatever. I got really lucky. And whenever I went to the ER, they said that it's actually really common for people to stab themselves with avocados, but it's normally in the palm area. So thank God I freaking stabbed myself. If I was to stab myself, I, I'm like so lucky that I did stab myself where I did. I did not want a scar on my hand. I really didn't. The whole time I was at the emergency room, and I know it sounds so selfish, but I was just so scared that my scar, like it was just gonna be a really bad scar. Because on this hand, I don't think I've ever showed you guys, but on this hand, I actually have a really bad scar. Also, don't mind my missing nail. Um, I was at a pool party yesterday with my family, and I was trying to catch a ball, and boom, it ripped my nail off. And yeah, you can see my actual nail started bleeding, but it's okay. It didn't hurt that bad. Oh, so on this hand, I have like a really big scar. And I, I don't know, I'm just very self-conscious about it. Like whenever I would like raise my hand and I would realize that I was raising it with this hand, I would be like, oh, let me raise this hand. So whenever I like stabbed myself, I was like, oh my gosh, now I'm gonna be self-conscious about this hand because I'm gonna have a scar on it. Um, I used to get bullied for my hand actually. 
like people were really mean they would call it like freddy krueger hand or they would you know be like oh get your hand away from me like even though it's literally just a scar like it's literally just a scar like it's my skin on top of scar tissue like it's not gross it's not disgusting like i don't know but people are just dumb i just want to say something to anybody who is going through like a really hard rough time let me tell you if I don't even know how to put this into words because I just get like, I, a lot of things come up whenever I wanna talk about this subject. Start focusing on yourself because I promise you whenever you start focusing on yourself and your own future and you start doing the things that make you happy, it, it just becomes like, you don't catch yourself crying. You don't catch yourself questioning everything. You don't catch yourself being worried or like you don't catch yourself like having anxiety or like breaking down all the time just i love you guys i just want you guys to just be happy but i just wish i could tell myself when i was you know going through it like look you're gonna be okay but we just gotta be patient so i wanted to do a room tour i've been living in this house for about three years now and i did a room tour a couple years ago in my old house of my old little room i, I never did an updated room tour for this room that i'm in now and i was thinking of actually doing one if y'all want to see one, give this video a big thumbs up. So yeah, that's really all the updates that I have for you guys. So yeah, I guess that's going to be it for this video. If you guys like this video, please give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Please, if you have been judging my hair throughout this video, I know it's a mess. I just didn't want to like put heat to it today. That's why I'm just letting my hair do whatever it wants to do. I'll see you guys in my next video and i want to blow you guys a kiss but i feel so awkward because my neighbors are probably watching me i'm not gonna blow you guys a kiss because i feel like they're all just staring over here but thank you guys so much for watching bye